All right, so today I, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit uh, about nutrition strategy and also just to bring you guys into Brian and Colleen and my mentality on the training moving forward. Um, so when it comes to prepping for Loretta's, we're realistically, we have three hard weeks of training, right? Maybe three and a half, uh, but the last week will be a little bit of a taper. You're not really going to see a lot of fitness increase between now and then. You guys have already put in a lot of base rides and a lot of motos and a, a lot of circuits, a lot of swims to get you into the shape you need to be for Loretta's. Now, more so our job is to just not mess it up, right? So don't be, don't take it as a big hit if there's a day where we're not working out, we do a stretch instead, or we do ice baths, or we do breathing exercises, or there's gonna be things that we're gonna do that's meant to keep you healthy and on the bike. It doesn't do us any good to continue pounding you into the ground if it means that we're worsening your riding, right? Riding has to be the highest quality it can possibly be. The gym is just still important, um, but it right now serves a different function. We're not preseason anymore, or we're not, we're not off season, this is preseason. Right, and we're coming up to one of the biggest races of the year, so we want to make sure that we're training smart as well as hard. So please understand that if we pull you from doing extra cardio or we pull you from doing an extra lift or, you know, I know I got some guys that are asking me to do some extra and, and that's great, but really the way that we take that, if you're asking me if you can do some extra cardio in the afternoons or in the, in the mornings or, or whenever it is, that's a testament to the kind of shape that you are actually in. The fact that you still have enough energy that you want to go and do extra, it's a really good sign. So you should take that as a confidence boost. We're not always gonna let you do it because half of our battle as your trainers is to keep our foot on the brakes for you so that you aren't running yourself into the ground because that's when people get sick. Like right now, Peyton's got a little bit of a bug. Who knows, right? If you keep pushing yourself in the heat and through all this, this really tough training we've been doing, maybe you don't show up till Loretta's healthy, right? Getting sick last month, maybe, we don't really want to get sick anymore. We can't really afford any, any more time off the bike. So we got to be smart. Um, we got to take things seriously. So since we're not putting you guys under such really big training loads, we want to use this time to address some concepts that I think that we just, you know, it's not that I expect you guys to understand it to a T. Nutrition is a very complicated topic. There's a reason why there is a job that exists where they write meal plans for you. You know, a dietitian is a, a real position and they do very well. They have lots of clients. There's a reason why they teach nutrition in universities and they try to teach it in high school. And it's, it's one of those things that you have to see it many, many, many times for it to start making sense. Um, but if there's things that you're not sure about and you have questions, then all you have to do is come in and ask. You know, and we'll talk through it. And if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. Um, so we, we need to be a team on this stuff because that's the whole reason you're here, right? If you wanted to take on the Loretta's on your own, you wouldn't be here. You know, you, you want the guidance of people that have been there before and done that and understand how to fuel our bodies. So um, the goal is just to, to hit you guys with this information as often as possible so that we can have some concepts start to stick. And I also want you guys to understand that when it comes to nutrition, there's going to be, you're going to see things that contradict what I'm about to tell you. There's going to be information that comes out later that says maybe there was a better way to do things. The thing about nutrition science is that it really is about progressively being less wrong over time. 20 years ago, we thought the best thing we could do was do a low fat diet. So they pulled fat out of everything, they loaded it up with sugar instead because without fat, guess what, things don't taste very good. Well then you load it up with sugar, and guess what, diabetes, obesity, you know, all these different heart conditions, like they're all through the roof, they're, there's more now than there ever was. So guess what, it wasn't high fat. Now we're figuring out, okay, maybe sugar is part of the problem. Maybe if you overconsume sugar, that's, why you're overweight and that's why you have type 2 diabetes and why you have these heart conditions. So nobody has all the answers, everybody's just giving you their best guess and new information comes out all the time, right? So it's our job to sift through it, pick and choose what's useful to us um, and, and use that moving forward. So today the idea is to demonstrate some very simple concepts and then we'll build off this in future talks and I know that Brian has some things that he wants to talk with you guys about too, um, but we're just going to get started with this. So this this is your fuel tank for your body, okay? When you wake up in the morning, you're not at zero. You have probably between 700 to, to 1200 calories of stored energy that's readily available. That usually comes from your nutrition the day before, right? If you have a big meal, big dinner, there's a reason why carb loading is a thing. The, the food that you eat in the days up to a race, it will stick with you and it will top off your store. So even if you, you have dinner, you go to sleep, you wake up, 
you still have fuel in the tank. Okay, but then the problem comes when you have a big day of motos ahead and you don't have a good nutrition strategy. So let's say, here's, here's an ideal situation. This is how it should work, right? You guys notice these water bottles, we have breakfast, we have snack one, snack two, and lunch. So let's say we start, okay, we wake up, we have about a thousand calories stored. Okay, cool. We're gonna have a big breakfast to make sure we're getting our fuel tank up as far as it can possibly go before we have to start doing motos. Is this calories or hydration? Calories. It's just... Yeah, no, it's just purely about, I want you guys to think of your eating as trying to keep your fuel tank topped off as best you can, okay? So I have breakfast in me, guess what? That only took me up to about 1,500 calories. Okay, boom, we eat breakfast, we're out on the track, we do a 15 minute warm up. Okay, use a little bit, didn't take it down very much, but guess what, you, you skipped your snack in between the warm up and your first moto. You do a 30. Okay, well now, we're back down to like the levels of when we woke up, right? We're burning through energy and we're not doing anything to replace it. So, you have to input snack number one. Snacks are not gonna carry the same weight as a meal. So if you look at it like this, Okay, snack number one. Snack number one's done. Now you're out, you get another 30. Big burst of energy out on the track. Uh-oh, now we're going negative, okay? Well then let's say, to get it back up, we have a big snack, fruit, whole grains, granola. Okay, that's a big snack. Okay, now let's say we have some sprint laps to do. Sprint laps, looking pretty close to E here. All right, now you have a big meal when you're done. Lunch. Okay, big meal for lunch. Now we have gym. How are we looking? We're looking low, we're looking empty. All right, and that's when you're gonna feel that feeling of the hunger and your, your thinking gets a little bit foggy, your reaction time starts to slow down, plus, you know, the dehydration, the same concept applies with, you know, water and, and hydration. So the idea behind this, you guys, is that your job is to think of eating your snacks, eating your lunch and your breakfast as continuing to keep your fuel tank as full as possible.